What now, Jason? Do you know how to navigate with all these... instruments? Argos taught me a few things. She had begun to show me as well. Perhaps I can assist. The controls here require three points, and then a course can be determined by triangulation. We need to know our starting point, our destination, and a third fixed position. And then what? Argos made it quite simple. The stars are the key. Each destination is indicated by a constellation. He was truly a genius. For example, he assigned Yulkis the constellation Cepheus the king. We can use that as our fixed position. So we just need to know two more constellations? Yes, but the trick is knowing which constellations will form the right combination. We need to know which constellations Argos chose for Kithra and for Delphi, our destination. I'll set Cepheus as a fixed position. Now for our previous location, Kithra. Which constellation? Let's try Libra. And then, our destination. I'll set it to Gemini. That's not right. It set a course for the Cyclades. I'll try again. I'll set Cepheus as a fixed position. Now for our previous location, Kithra. Which constellation? Let's tr And then... Our destination. I'll set it to Pygmalion. That combination worked. It set a course for Delphi. You did it, Jason! Our ghosts would be proud. A clever system indeed. I think I can handle it from now on. Study it further, Daedalus. From now on, you'll steer us. It would be an honor to follow in Argos's footsteps. Let's see what the little witch has to say. Even if she knew where it was, getting there is something else in time. You have returned. Oracle of Apollo, I fulfilled your charge. The bloodlines of Ares, Athena, and Hermes stand before you. We know it was the Black Tongues who stole the fleece. Wherever it is, it was they who hid it. Yes, and these three will open the path to that place. I don't know what game you play, Oracle, but none of us here knows where the fleece is. Of course you don't. None of you have ever been there before. The fleece lies in Tartarus. Impossible! What good is the blood of the gods? How are we to go to Tartarus and back again? Make your final preparations, and then bring your crew ashore. We will show you the way. But there will be no turning back once you come to us. Be sure to bring the one called Medea. She has known the touch of Akate. She will help us find your path. Is it time, Jason? Yes. The Oracle told us where we can find the fleece. Tartarus. Tartarus, of course. I should have known. Of all the deities, Hecate alone can travel freely to and from the depths of Tartarus, the place where she was born. The Black Tongues believe Tartarus is their paradise, a place where Hecate has built a stronghold. The Oracle says you will help us find the path. I need you now, Madame. If I open myself to Hecate, there's a chance I can stretch across the void and sense her. I only hope I do not lose myself in doing so.
for all our sakes. You can do this, Medea. Your will is strong and your purpose is clear. Clearer than it's ever been. Release the wards. I am ready. May you be the instrument of Hecate's ruin. Some bathhouse you've got here. Don't think you want to go swimming here. Do not touch the waters, lest you be lost forever. Behold the Gate of Despair, a passageway to Tartarus, the Black Hell of the Underworld. The Gate of Despair. Here is where the triumphant Olympians cast down the defeated Titans to end the Great War. After that victory, Hades himself sealed the portal, using the rivers of the Underworld. The waters you see before you spring from the rivers Styx, Legathon, Acheron, and Lep. Where is the gate itself? If it's beneath those waters, it might as well be on the far side of the sun. A gift of blood will counteract the waters and open the way to Tartarus. How so? Only divine blood can match the potency of Hades' rivers. The blood of Ares will purify the searing heat of Phlegathon. The blood of Hermes will navigate the Boundary River Styx. The blood of Athena will ward against the forgetfulness of the River Leth. And the blood of Apollo will shield you against Acheron, the river of woe. You didn't ask me to find the blood of Apollo. There was no need. All oracles of Apollo are descended from the Sun God. My blood will stand for Apollo's. When you are ready, one drop of each divine blood assembled here must be cast into the pool. This will purify the water and activate the gate. What am I to do? The reaches of Tartarus are infinite. You must stretch your mind across the portal and seek out the touch of Hecate. You will ensure that Jason arrives close to her stronghold. The gate will be of sufficient strength to carry Jason and two others with him. But know this. Whoever dies in Tartarus will remain there for all eternity. All right. Argonauts, you've stood with me this far. And now, here we stand on the edge of hell itself. Yargo lies just on the beach below. There's safety there and passage home to whoever wants it. But if I know you like I think I do, the Argo can wait until Tartarus itself is behind us. Argonauts, are you with me? If I let you go alone, then damn me for a coward and a false friend. Just say my name, and I'm with you, Jason. Here, here. This is a chance for eternal glory. You can't deny me that. After all you've done for me, I would follow you into Tartarus itself. I mean that literally. You'll do me a favor taking me with you, Jason. This is an experience I would give everything to see. No man could ask for a better company. My thanks to all of you. Who will go with you, Jason? Hercules, for one. Let's do this. And?
Achilles. Yes. Achilles and Hercules. Are you certain, Jason? I am. Then it has been decided. Prepare yourselves. Approach me again when you are ready to begin. Once the ritual begins, there will be no time for changes. Are you certain of the companions you wish to bring with you to Tartarus? I am. Then are you ready to begin? We are ready, Lord. Then everyone must take their places. Great Hades! Here stand the bloodlines of four of your divine company. We offer a tribute of blood so that this noble man may retrieve something that does not belong in your domain. Grant us safe passage through these envenomed waters. Take all you want. I've watered most of Greece with the hot blood of Ares. Watch a little more here. God of travelers and of boundaries, blessed Hermes, protect our friends. Medea, stretch your mind across the portal. Burns the throat. Could be poisonous. Stay alert. Stay focused. Let's finish this. They're moving! Watch out! Try to destroy the other two before they hatch! Keep an eye out for more of them. Let's try to destroy them before they can hatch. That thing is belching out these cursed fumes. I can't get near the vent. The force is too great.
careful. Lots of sludge. It is terrible. I grant you that. Can't you see? Even the Titans bow their heads to the yoke of Tartarus. Down this very path, Prometheus himself, he who created man, lies bound in servitude to the Black Tongues. We grow strong, feasting on his blood, biding our time until we are called back to the world above to seize it. You will wait for eternity. We're the last living people you'll ever see. I have found my perfect form. After you fall beneath my spear, I will set you next to Prometheus so the birds can feast on you as well. Stand aside, Dokkan. Now, you are in my arena. And you will see this champion here! see true. You are Prometheus. Yes. The Titan who made your kind. Those spikes through your body. Zeus did that? This pit of Tartarus is under Hecate's influence. After my brother Epimetheus and I were passed down by Zeus, she enticed us here, promised us haven. In 
Instead, she trapped and bound us to this cursed land, forcing our eternal service. What is her purpose for tormenting you? Of all the Titans, only my brother and I can provide the divine spark of creation. Together, my blood, my brother's breath, and the golden fleece form the defenses of this stronghold. These foul birds keep your wounds fresh. To keep your blood flowing. Thus providing the matter from which Hecate's minions and defensive barriers are formed. The echo that surrounds you is my tainted blood, exposed to the corruption of my brother's breath. Poor Hepamethius. Hecate sundered him into many pieces, each contributing to the noxious vapors that stifled the air. You will see pieces of my brother strewn all around this place, emitting the fumes that corrupt my spirit. And what of the fleece? What part does it play in this cruel torment? The fleece has the power to join spirit and body. Hecate and her followers use it to fuse the spirits of their fallen brothers to animate it for. How can I release you from this torment? You think of me even when in peril yourself. I do not regret my love. Until you arrived, hope and vengeance were forgotten words. But you offer me hope. Tell me how to free you. The only freedom you can offer me is to remove the chains of this existence. If killing you weakens Hecate and the Black Tongues, just tell me how. Such purpose. One of your kind's greatest strengths. Kill. Coat your weapons with my pure blood and my bro- This will allow you to break through the barriers you find here. It will also empower you to end my brother's suffering. Once both he and I are gone, only then can you destroy the pieces of Epimetheus that are strewn. I will release your brother from his torment and destroy his remains. I promise you. Human, I gave you life and sacred fire. I ask a gift in return from you. What is it? I would know the name of the man who kills me. It is Jason. Jason. A good name. I am ready. Jason. May the work of my hands be the instrument of my deep.
these craters are active. Watch yourselves. Be what the Titan called his brother's breath. <laughs> Faden, of course I'd find you here. My fellow philosopher! We meet again, and yet you still bear the imperfections of life. But why would you be here, unless you too have embraced our truth? Wrong again, Faden. The only truth here is your damnation. Damnation? Do you not see the glory of this place? Here we are reborn in our most perfect forms. Here, the very titans who once ruled the Earth now labor under our command. Guess again. We've released Prometheus from his torment, and we'll do the same for his brother. What? So, that's why you've come this way. To free Epimetheus! Of course, I can't let that happen. You're proving quite the nuisance, Jason. We will rebuild what you have broken and continue our work! Soon, our comrades will call us to return, and the Black Tongues will rule both this world and the one above! I tired of your prattle before I killed you the first time. It's no less tiresome now. Such ignorance. I can only offer you the truth. But then again, the truth always did seem beyond your grasp. Now I see why you are here. You are another piece of my paradise. A chance to avenge my own death. 
So kind of Hakate. get their feet. They summon them from here. How can they reach across to the underworld? Only with Hakate's blessing. Now we know what to expect. Remember where we are. Kill anything that moves. Another torment sent by the cousin. Epimetheus. Once, 
long past. Now, only kin to this cursed place. It's breath, my own. I freed your brother from his bondage, and I do the same for you. Prometheus free? That could only mean he is dead. By my hand, but by his wish. And what about your other hand? Can it match indeed, as well as form? Can your mercy extend to me as well? He asked me to end your suffering, if that is your wish. Show me the mercy you showed my brother, and you will weaken Hecate in this place. There are many pieces of me scattered about, each toxic in their decay. Destroy these parts when you find them, and you'll gradually clear the air. I understand. Are you ready, Titan? I have been ready for eons. Make your strike here on my hand. End my suffering, and return my precious creation to your world. If any should ever wonder, let them know it is the work of Epimetheus. Been to the underworld once to capture Cerberus. That was in Hades' realm, not Tartarus. It's far more familiar than this. I wonder if it's night or day. Or do they have night and day down here? How do they keep time anyway? With no sun. Then again, I suppose if you're damned for eternity, you don't really need time.
Be ready. The Kate and the Black Tongues have gone to great lengths to seal what lies beyond this point. Some kind of minotaur from the mark. We'll have their horns.
What happened? Perhaps that's how these things run away. Naje, what is she doing here? And why does she not attack? She's trying to lead us somewhere. Our way lies ahead. If Naje tries to stop us, then she will fall. Come. There's a lockbox full of glory. Take it in. Our last few breaths as mortals. Once we go in there and come out with a fleece, the gods themselves will sing songs about us. We are close. Remember why you're here, and what it is you fight for. Keep hold of that purpose. Grip it tight. Whatever we find inside, let nothing take it from you. isn't right! I was promised sky, endless fields of grass, palace filled with servants. I was promised paradise! Hecate is the mistress of deceit, and you believed what her minions told you? No. They must call me back. They must summon me with the others. Yes, that is to be my reward. I'll join Hakate's conquest of the living! Is that what's happening? Can't you see it, human? Each ascending spirit returns to the world above. The 
black tongues have found a place of power, and with it, we can summon forth all of Tartarus. Soon, we will command an army, the likes of which Greece has never seen! Where is this army amassing? Does it matter? Wherever it is, we shall spread across the world like a devouring flame! Even if you did claim the fleece, you can't stop us! That is why you're here, isn't it? The fleece leaves with me. No matter. You are not my concern. I'll let the Guardian have you. I must await my summons. I cannot risk that. I must escape this place! Nessus, your story ends here. A curse on you, humans! So be it, but it will be you who stays in Tartarus! Arise, my pet. Your master calls you forth. Arise, Hypnage! from their torment. No matter. They will soon be... replaced! It is a mistake to stand between me and the fleece. Your tattered flesh will feed this land. You and your companions will replace what you've stolen. Harnessed to this place and become our eternal servants. So close, and yet only a few moments left to live. Seek lies before you. Come 
and take it if you can!
the fleece! Let's hope it is enough to bring Alcime back. The Black Tongue spoke of Yolkus. Could it be true? There is nothing that would surprise me. Whether he spoke true or false, we will return and set things right. Jason, something in the fog. Elias. What has he done? It appears we'll be without the element of surprise. How many are there? I need to test the depth. I'll go with you. Jason, you have my sympathies. Achilles. We should get ready. What? Oh, right. Jason. Captain Midas. Hear me, Hermes. Hear me speak of Midas. Captain of the Guard of Yolkus. Guide him well. For he was my friend. Find now your eternal place, Idas. Find now the fate you deserve. You are released from this mortal cavern. May unyielding Hades have mercy on your spirit. Elpis, daughter of Kiros and Callista, you are released from this mortal tether. May unyielding Hades have mercy on your spirit. Nason. Father of Pathras and Timaeus, you are released from this mortal tether. By the looks of it, Polias has an army here. I can't bring her in, Jason. They'll swarm us before we get ashore. Then we'll take the shore boats. Myself and two others will land near the docks. Two more can land on the eastern shore. We'll meet at the palace. The rest will defend the Argo. We can't risk losing her. King Lycomedes, you have command of the ship. We don't return. Sail home and raise your army. My people will answer if they're called to arms. Then it's decided. We leave within the hour. Prepare yourselves. Who's these 
sneaking about in the dark. The Yolkan's friends. Where is he? Where is the one called Jason? Where is he? He is home. Ionians! We do not fear the Greeks and their weak gods. We'll hang the fleece as a banner once you're dead. Kill them all! <laughs> Jason, I knew you'd return. Sidon, it's Pelias. Pelias did this. He brought in mercenaries, and then other things. They started killing the people, sacrificing them. You tell me everything you know. Some of our people fled. Those who didn't were taken by the Black Tongues and used in their rituals. But I couldn't leave. I knew you were coming back. Someone had to watch for you. I've been spying on the Black Tongues. You were right. I'm not a fighter. But I can keep to the shadows well enough. Where is my uncle hiding? In the palace. Doing what exactly? I don't know. His minions have covered the place with strange symbols, like the one they were making here. I heard some of the mercenaries talking about a dark army being called to Yolkus. We're going to stop him. You've done well, Sidon. Do you think you can stay to the shadows a little while longer? These black tongues won't find me. I promise you that. Good. We'll return when it's safe. I'll be waiting, sir. Good luck, Argonauts. What have you done? Lead well, brother.
took you long enough. You've got a nasty Ionian infestation here. Between them and the Black Tongues, they've got the whole island covered. Jason, I suppose you've seen their numbers. Their encampments are everywhere. We only just slipped past. So what's the plan? We need to hold this ground. We can't let reinforcements strike from behind once we're inside. I'll stay. My bow's of more use out here than in cramped quarters. I'll keep Atalanta company. The night air suits me better. If they come, hold them off as long as you can. Escape to the east if you're overrun. Take the shore boat back to the Argo. Hercules, Achilles, you're with me. Into the palace. No one to welcome us. Anyone else smell a trap? Hercules. Bar the door behind us. Right. Elias knows me. Mausoleum is all the brothers now. As long as that shade stands, I'll summon more! Tartarus. If we don't stop them, we'll bring forth an army and sweep through all of these.
trap! I knew it! Elias will answer for this defiant! <laughs> the altar! Can't breathe! What's the floor? Stop us! What is this? We have to stop him! This is 
destroy the roots. them here. We can't have all the glory. Let us get our share. Ready, Achilles? The difference between us is that your love was never returned. Do you think I do not know you? No! I know everything there is to know. I watched you fight in the arena of Mycenae. I saw Nessus and Faden fall before you. Oh, and I was there when old Argos met his end. With hardly any strife. Everyone's got a plan until they get hit. Fool! Do you think killing me will stop what's already begun? We will raise our army from the depths of Tartarus and sweep across Greece like a purging fire. Every priest of your new gods will be put to the sword. Every shrine and temple will be reduced to rubble, and then the rubble crushed to sand. We will boil Poseidon's sea and rip the very thunder from Zeus's quivering hand. No matter what you do here, the future is ours. Gods 
who give their power for nothing more than prayers. The old gods require much more. They require sacrifice. They require pain. But what they give in return is far greater. What have you been given? Orders and commands, scorn and suffering. No, these gods are my oaths to Hecate. My oaths of love. Chosen, she casts her favor upon me. She doesn't even know your name. No, my mistress, why? You chose the wrong woman to. speech you have prepared, let it not leave your tongue. I've no interest in your reasons. But nephew, it was such a well-crafted speech. The fleece is glorious. In a strange way, I'm proud of you. Your father would have been proud, too. Perhaps I'll keep the fleece for a time. Such a waste to hide its beauty in Tartarus. Finished. I'm not. But you are. Give my love to Alison.
Now is the time to eat. 